Tasmania is in a homelessness crisis but shouldn't expect to be bailed out by Canberra. According to Liberal Senator Erica Betts, Andrea Crothers is in Hobart for us this morning. Andrea, the Senator claims waiving the state's public housing debt only rewards bad behaviour. That's right, Laura. It's certainly not the commentary the state government will be wanting to hear ahead of crisis talks with the Federal Housing Minister Michael Sukar tomorrow. The State Housing Minister Roger Gench was hoping to use that meeting to push for the Commonwealth to waive Tasmania's public housing debt of $157 million. Now, those borrowings were racked up between the 1950s and 80s as part of a scheme to boost social housing supply. But today it's costing the Tasmanian government $15 million annually to service, effectively so Soaking up half of the federal funds allowed or provided for public housing. Now, in 2013, the Gillard government, the then Gillard government, decided to scrap South Australia's public housing debt. So, but, but Liberal Senator Erica Beth says the same shouldn't be done for Tasmania. The simple fact is, Tasmania borrowed money for the purposes of social housing, and uh, that debt needs to be paid back. Otherwise, it rewards bad behaviour by state governments. Mr Abetz says the buck lies firmly with local and state governments to deal with this crisis. But as thousands desperately await public housing, those who are either doing it tough or are helping on the front line just say that's not good enough. It's, it's their, it is their issue too. We can't hide behind Commonwealth state um, demarcations. Well, I've been on wait list for about a year or more. So, Laura, with those crisis talks due tomorrow, it remains to be seen what will come of them.